stream. Hi everybody, we're going to be talking about you sales with Elan and Panache. Get ready for a sales tip about Elan and having some panache when you're in the selling mode and being out there in the world. Get ready. So we're back and we're going to be talking about how do you stand out with Elan and Panache. It's really important when we're talking about sales that you know that you are absolutely positively, you know, somebody that has a standout kind of personality, that you have your own mojo, that you have your sense of your own Elan. And it's really important when we're going out in the world right now that you experience it. So I want to make sure that you're in a place where you can be bold and market yourself confidently, joyously, happily, that you're able to stretch yourself in such a way that you are so recognizable that people want to play with you. Now, I'm going to go through some different steps about being having a lawn and having panache in your sales process, in your ability to present yourself. But first, we have to make sure that we all understand what we're talking about. So, Elan, Elan is really a simple sounding word that means liveliness, flash, and panache. Now, liveliness and panache, you know, when I was a young um, woman, my aunt Lou used to have lots of Elan. Oh, she would walk into a room and everybody would know her. I have I learned a lot from her about having that sense of Elan. And one of the key pieces of having Elan really is the sense, the sense of exuding liveliness, exuding excitement. That means when you go into any kind of networking session, any kind of place where your perfect clients are, you have to walk in with a sense of, I'm so happy I'm here. I'm showing up fully. I'm excited about why I'm here. And most importantly, that you're excited about meeting people so that if I'm looking over here and I know that there's someone I want to meet, I don't want to just walk over and meet them. I want to be able to create a presence from the beginning that I'm having this sense of liveliness this joy. So I'm going to be smiling. I'm going to make sure that I am exuding this liveliness way before I ever get to that person. Because what you're exuding, people feel. And so my job is to radiate liveliness in such a way that people can experience it way before I ever arrive. So you have to practice this sense of having Elan. It's really important for your whole sense of self. You want to make sure that you have with Elan, that you have some flash, that you stand out in your dress, in your mannerisms, in your language. Those of you that know me well, I have no problem with any of these. But for you, you have to really think about what is the dress that you're wearing? What are your, is it, does it match your colors? Is it something that when you put on, oh, it feels so good, so amazing. Does it make you stand out in a way that you are standing taller and you are able to exude kind of the power that you want to exude? Do you have mannerisms that will help you? In other words, are you someone that 
uses their hands a lot. Well, make sure, and I don't even have my, my rings on, make sure you have rings or you have great nails so that people are attracted to how you're showing up. This is part of your style, your branding, and it's very, very important. You want to also notice if you happen to use your eyes in a lot of your interactions, then make sure you're enhancing your eyes. Whatever it is for you, choose at least one thing that is going to become something that's going to enhance what you do. Is it your lips? So bright lipstick. Is it your eyes? Dramatic makeup. Is it your fingers? Great nails. What is it that you do so that you can have some flash? You can be noticed by your statement piece. This is critically important when you're going out for sales, especially if you're selling services or you're selling a, some sort of project product where there's a lot of people in your field. You have to have flash and elan to really know what it is that you're, what you're presenting. The next thing is to show panache. Now, panache is that you have this, oh, flamboyant, confidence of style or mannerism that you feel so confident in your style and you're flamboyant about it because here's what's what's interesting people are really attracted I, listen it's a nature that's why birds and peacocks they have you know their big feathers and they're out there that's why you know elephants are they go doo -doo -doo, when they want to start attracting people attracting other elephants you have to make sure that you have your own flamboyant confidence style that is magnetic and attraction but it's up to you to do it so i know i know i know it's a little bit uncomfortable i know that but you want to be able to just be able to show it in your media you want to be able to show it in your dress you want to be able to show it in to your language. So I'm going to give you an example of what this looks like in your social media. I just had, I just created this and this is what I'm talking about. an example of flamboyant confidence of your power that's an, a social media piece are you creating social media pieces that even if you're not able to show up your pieces are being uh, flamboyant they're calling they're saying what you're doing now you don't do it all the time and you don't do it every day and you don't do it you know you're not con you're not constantly putting that out there because then it gets a little bit oh yeah 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 you want to do it sporadically so that people experience your flamboyant, your confidence and see it, but you have to do it. So here's some steps that I want to share with you that are really important for you to learn. First, if you want to play about Elan and Panache, you have to play. And I know that so often you're so serious, you're so intense about your sales, you're in so intense about where you go that you don't realize that some of that intensity is too intense and isn't attractive. So I want you to be able to play. And this happens, you could do this at home, please do it at home. And what I want you to do is pull together different outfits, go to a thrift shop, buy some really flamboyant outfits, things in your color, and practice. Just play. And then also, while you're playing, please make sure that you're walking around the house, being a little bit flamboyant, practicing your arms, practicing your experiences, so that you're not going to do this out in public. What you're doing right now is just practicing to build up your confidence, to see what feels right in your body, to see how your body can move in different ways that you're creating some panache, some elan, that you're practicing liveliness, and play is the best way. Now, if you have uh, children around you, girl, little girls who are under the age of, 
you know, seven. This is a great time to invite them over because you, you tell them, we're going to have a party of Alan and Panache. And you have dress up clothing for them and dress up clothing for you. And you walk around and they walk around saying, hello, darling. Hey, how are you? Hello. <laughs> And you make believe and you play. If you have a bunch of girlfriends, bring over a whole bunch of wine and have a play date together. Again, it's a play date to practice your elan and panache. We don't get to do this enough. And if you don't do it, you can't discover that part of you that the world wants to see and know. The second thing that I want to share about doing this is hire a stylist. There's nothing better to have someone who's an expert in style to see you as your own panache and elan and help you really go to a higher level. One of the things when I first hired my first stylist, which was years ago, and what was really wonderful is that she taught me about the shoes that I was wearing. Some of my shoes just were not having a lot of elan. And she taught me about pointy shoes with cat heels, Whoa, what a diff what a difference that made because I could walk easily in the kitten heels, but I had these pointy toes on my shoes and it, it was very comfortable. It was great. So now I focus on trying to find boots that have kitten heels and and pointy because when I wear pants, there is a certain alon and the look that happens. And that came because I hired a stylist. Hire a stylist so that she can play with you and have some fun learning some of the uh, key points. Uh, who's here? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that people are here. Thank you so much. I heard somebody that this is good. What I hear you saying is that I need to show up as, uh, as the sales page with or without the play clothes. Yeah. You have to just be out there and really, um, uh, constantly exude. You are your sales page. So I love it. The second thing that I want to be able to tell you is you want to play with the camera and take fun pictures. You don't need to share them, but I want you to get very comfortable being out there with pictures so that you look at how the starlets uh, and stars stand so that you can have your hello and you turn to where you're going. So I know that you're gonna practice pictures so that you can practice which side looks best, what's your stand, how do you do it? Because when you're out at these events, People want to take pictures and you want to stand out in the pictures. You just don't, you don't want to look like you're in jail going. You want to look with a little bit of elan. So, you know, you want to stick your neck out so that you don't have turkey neck. You want to exude excitement. You want to take your shoulders back and pull yourself up so that when you take your picture and then it shows up everywhere, you have elan. You're always going in. Please, women, try not to do the cock head. Try to do the straight on because that is super confident. That's what I want you to be able to do is for you to play with the camera and really practice it so you get what you need. Finally, once you have your style, once you have your flair and your panache, you want to step out. Now, the best way to do this is to go someplace far away, which is not in your community. Go with a girlfriend. Go to a flea market. Go to... Um, is some sort of event and practice your new flair, your new panache, practice walking, practice taking pictures together, practice just having fun. But remember, make it about play because what I want you to do is transfer those skills back to your sales so that now you have the skills that you've played with, you've practiced you bring it back to your sales and your professional calling of selling and pitching yourself and being out there in the world. But now you are absolutely, absolutely positively walking with Elan and Panache. And when we're talking sales, we really want to have Elan and Panache. One of the things that I want to remind everybody is that in October is our Power Women Gathering. And we are going to be talking about Elan and Panache. We're going to have prepare, start pulling together your toy box because we're going to have some fun with making sure that you have uh, that Elan and that excitement. So join us at the Power Women Gathering and I'll see you, for those of you in Elite, I'll see you in a little while. For those of you who are watching us from afar, welcome and join us at Power Women Worldwide at Power Women Gathering.
Bye, baby.